Welcome. What is up? Welcome to This Week in the Mixer, episode 2.9? 2.8? Not really important. Uh, moving, moving edition. That's it. Uh, this is the this is the last big trip, last big load from my apartment south of the border. Uh, making the making the journeys up north, and uh, and yeah, it's been a it's been a wild week. Started moving Thursday, I think uh, maybe Wednesday, and um, yeah, finally getting the last load done today. Uh, I took a few days off in the middle there trying to avoid the, the border when it's too crazy. But as you can see, I've been in the border wait now, probably 40, 45 minutes. And uh, I probably got about another hour and a half. So, um, you know, but this should be the last, uh, last long time. I gotta come back and get my car, but uh, gonna gonna come later in the evening when there shouldn't be, shouldn't be as, uh, as much traffic. So, um, so yeah, uh, but ride with me, enjoy a part of what was my daily routine for the last few months, um, for reasons outside of my control, uh, a little behind the scenes. I lost my sentry card, which usually, which turned my normal weight from, um, about 10 minutes a day, 10 to 15 minutes to a one to two hour and occasionally three hour uh, wait to cross. And as you can imagine, having a newborn and a four hour commute to work each day, no bueno. Anyway, that's gonna change now. Uh, but as a result, I'm gonna be poor AF, so um, not gonna be doing too much. Gonna be hanging around our pool and our complex a lot, uh, cause that sits pretty well. It's included in the rent, and uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's that's gonna be it. Uh, browsing Twitter is uh, is uh, you know free for the most part, uh, except for you know charging your phone, utilities, and um, cell phone and data and all that fun shit. But uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, probably gonna probably gonna drop out of a few few fantasy leagues this year uh, focus my attention on uh, getting Dirk back so um, hot seat everybody else in the mixer hot seat Sean I'm um, coming for that for that ass uh, coming for all of your asses really and, uh, and yeah should uh, should be a good year um, gonna be a little more focused but Let's uh, let's get into sports news a little bit here. Um, what to bring up? Um, what to bring up first? I think we'll start with the Padres uh, again. First and foremost on on our minds, uh, we got the trade deadline coming up at the end of the month. No deals have been made. Uh, no big deals, at least, uh, especially not not by the Padres lately. Big question remains, will they be sellers, will they be buyers, will they just stand pat at the deadline? Um, they're one of the more interesting teams to watch around the league. A lot of national coverage and so far nothing. Uh, the main the main kind of focus piece that people are looking at is whether or not they'll deal uh, Kirby Yates. I know Preller's gone on record saying that He's not looking to move him necessarily. They're not looking to get a starter necessarily. Uh, seems like they're pretty satisfied with the roster that they have. Uh, at least that's the message they're putting out there. And that makes sense. I think Preller's operating from um, a position of power. He's got the benefit of having some youth on his side with some prospects. Still down in the minors, still down in A-ball. Um, waiting in the wings so Prowler can, can take his time and he's not gonna make a deal unless it you know unless it makes sense he's not gonna sacrifice future success 
for a couple a couple extra wins because if he did that, you know, miss out on the playoffs, what's the point? Um, and I think the position the Padres find themselves in right now, five games out of uh, five games below 500. Not sure, not sure where they are in the wild card. I would imagine the wild card is right around that 500 mark, uh, maybe a few games above. Um, you know, that that uh, that must win series against the Braves right after the uh, right after the All Star break may prove to be pivotal. pivotal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't hurt that they or it didn't help that they lost those games, but. Still a lot of still a lot of baseball to be played. Um, they can still make a run. Um, I keep saying it. I'll say it again. You know, they rip off like a nine nine game winning streak. Um, that could change the the prospect of the season. Uh, I just don't see. You know, I don't see them all of a sudden becoming a team that will win. Will win. Eight out of ten games on a regular basis, and uh, climb back into the climb back into the race. It's gonna take, you know, it's gonna take a hot streak where they uh, where they rip off nine, ten in a row or something to uh, to get back in there. So um, that being said, I um, you know I don't I don't know if I see Preller making a big deal. I would love to see them. Uh, ship out Myers, maybe package Myers, Yates, and uh, and even Renfro because I don't think they're going to have enough money to, to pay him what he's going to need. Uh, they're going to have to keep some salary around for um, for you know for the young guys when when they get their first big contracts like like Tatis, uh, Urias, Urias. Um, I'd like to see them save some some salary for keeping those guys around, you know, guys that are going to make an impact long-term. Um, so if they can deal some of the guys that they're not going to need for the future, obviously that'd be a win-win. Maybe bring in a younger piece. Um, either way, even if it's not going to happen this year, it's like what I've been saying the whole year. Still a super exciting team. You know, that's all I kind of hope for at the start of the season to have some hope um, Tatis is probably the most exciting young player in baseball and got Paddock flirting with a no hitter already in his first year um, looks like that time in the minors helped out a little bit and, uh, you know, we got Mackenzie Gore throwing BBs in double-A now. Um, we got that relief guy coming up that I can't think of his name. Is it Jimenez? I don't know. Um, could be wrong. He's, he's throwing 103 miles an hour, mile an hour fastballs. I mean, super excited. Just super excited for the future of the team. Glad I get to, glad I get to watch him. Um, hopefully the Fox Sports app works. I do have someone's login, so, you know, just don't report me or anything. Um, but yeah, ho hopefully that works on, uh, on Fire Stick. I might have to hit up one of my tech guys to, uh, <laughs> to, to see if, um, if it does. Because Fox was not working for the World Cup at all. It was, it was terrible. Anyway, um... I think that's all I got for, for baseball talk. Padres Cubs right now. Surprising, surprisingly little shit talk going on in the mixer thread. Maybe since it's Anthony's, since Anthony's, you know, out of state now. The uh, the chatter subsided a little bit. Uh, the ribbing, uh, not so, not as frequent as it has been in the, uh, Cup Busters days um, here, so we'll see, we'll see got another game today, so maybe it'll pick back up um, 
But yeah, I didn't want to move on from baseball. I did just lose to Stevie for the second time in the season. I don't know what's going on with my baseball team. It's uh, it's not good. I mean, it doesn't hurt that I have, I have my two main pitchers on extended IL stints. Uh, Hamels is down, and Garrett Cole is down. Um, so I have Cole, right? No, I have Talion. Sorry, Jamison Talion. Um, so yeah, uh, Talion doesn't look like he's gonna pitch for the rest of the year. So yeah. Fun stuff, fun stuff. But not complaining about it because, you know, injuries happen to everybody. Um, just mentioning it. As I, yeah, it looks like, you know, looks like I'm going to be playing in the first round of playoffs that everybody makes. So, uh, so yeah, if that's, uh, you know, if that's news to, to Matt, that uh, Stevie will, in fact, make playoffs because every team makes the playoffs. Um, you know, sorry, bro, but you're getting wet. I mean, I hate to see it, you know. I hate to see anybody get wet. Uh, for making stupid bets, but um, but yeah, sorry, bro. Uh, start start browsing the uh, the wet gear on Under Armour or something. Uh, it might help out. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. The reason why we're here: football season. Got my first real dose of excitement yesterday. Yesterday morning. Uh, you know, new place. Uh, let let Belly get a little extra sleep, uh, so I had the baby out, and uh, we were watching Last Chance U. Last the new season of Last Chance U dropped on Friday. Uh, got to watch the first two episodes, and uh, you know, so did she. She, she was uh, she was grinding tape with me. Um, got to see a little bit of JUCO football, and and yeah. Um, this season's been slow. It hasn't been as good as some of the other seasons so far. Um, only through the first two episodes, but um, but yeah, just I mean, watching any any football uh, drama is exciting. Uh, All or Nothing is back. I hear I need to watch that. I haven't watched the the past ones. Um, just recently became a Prime member finally. Um, but yeah, I hear it's the the Panthers and I believe it covers last season's uh, training camp and uh, maybe it's just the whole season but but yeah I definitely need to give that a watch when I get the chance um, we've got Hard Knocks, the Raiders that's going to be awesome uh, Derek Carr, Antonio Brown uh, Lynch, is Lynch still, um, still playing? I think he is, I don't know um, as you can tell, I got some homework to do. But yeah, uh, Hard Knocks is gonna be great. If you have HBO and you're not watching it, I don't even know why. Um, you know what, what you're doing with your life. You gotta, you gotta change that. Um, training camp just started for a lot of teams last week. Uh, a lot of rookies reporting. We got the veterans coming in this week. Um, I was looking at the dates. Pretty much all of them start like 21st, 22nd, um, 24th, you know. So, uh, so we're we're getting into a Hall of Fame game August 1st, which is, you know, routinely the most unwatchable game of football. But we're degenerates, so we'll be watching. At least I will. And we got fantasy football drafts shortly after, so. Got a lot of homework to do, but super excited. Teams are also, you know, getting news on who's going to be available. We got Nelly G's holdout continues. No update on that. Tyreek Hill not suspended, despite the allegations, suspicions of the incident with his little boy I did get the date wrong on when they would drop that news I thought it would I thought see the I don't know if they, if any of you are into the NFL's little little secret news dump cycle um, they usually they usually do it you know during another sporting event to try to bury the news so it doesn't get that much coverage 
and they also try to do it on Fridays. So um, I made the mistake of misreading the tea leaves. Fourth of July fell on Thursday. Everybody had that Friday off. Um, and there was like a lot of soccer going on. So I thought, I thought that Friday the 5th would be the perfect date for them to, for them to bury that news. Um, instead they buried it they buried it last Friday I believe and yeah I mean it got some some coverage but a lot of people aren't making a big deal about it. I guess I guess it's what they expect out of the NFL now to to make to make these questionable decisions um, but I mean they're in a they're kind of in a tough place I don't know what kind of evidence they had I know there was a phone call transcript um, I know he had said some shit that got leaked but you know there's, there's no video you know who knows what the little boys even what, what the little boys saying um, it's just all around a shitty situation um, personally I wish that he would have got suspended partially I think maybe six games, eight games. Um, you know, if they had more evidence the whole season. A lot of people are calling for his career. He shouldn't be allowed to play. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a terrible thing. Uh, I don't know if i go that far. Um, you know, I believe in trying to make people better, trying to make, trying to help them. Um, you know, maybe being in the NFL isn't isn't good for, for people like that and they need some other sort of help. But um, I don't know. It's, a, it's tough to say. But, but yeah, I am surprised. Um, did hear that Zeke isn't going to be suspended as well. Uh, I believe he, he kind of got a little physical with a uh, security guard or something. Or a... Like a, like a parking lot attendant. I, I don't exactly know what it was, but um, no further action for him. Uh, now he's talking about a holdout. I believe he has two years left in his contract, uh, his rookie contract. So a little bit of a different scenario from um, from Mel Melvin Gordon, but, but yeah, he's talking about not reporting um, from what I've heard. He'll most likely be there, though, and he's just, you know, trying to trying to put some pressure on the Cowboys to to get them to to get them to to, to give him a contract. Uh, I don't think Jerry Jones lets let Zeke walk, um, so it's just a it's just a matter of time before he gets signed and extended. But, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of the news that's been going on. Um, I don't really have any any strong takes on on that, other than I wish Tyreek would have got some sort of suspension. <laughs> I did uh, I did see somebody tweet. Um, good thing good thing Tyreek didn't do anything super. Heinous like smoke pot, <laughs> which uh, I thought I appreciated that that tweet. I thought it was I thought it was pretty clever um, because guys do get do get suspensions for um, you know for weed, which is legal in most uh, in a lot of states. I don't know about most. Don't don't fact check me. We might need our my stats team to to check that out. But um, but yeah. I, I thought that was thought that was pretty clever because uh, the NFL does take a pretty hard line policy against pot, um, but domestic violence, on the other end, it's willing to be uh, willing to be a little more gray with. Uh, so yeah, what else do we got? Uh, Kristen, well, moving on from from the NFL, I'm excited for draft day. Uh, can't come soon enough. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. Uh, draft order. So how are we going to do this? 
apparently, uh, I don't know if we're gonna just go with the uh, prop events that we already did. I mean, I hope so. I put together my prop. I uh, I won. I won pickums. Uh, should have a slight advantage, uh, you know. Um, usually, this is uh, charter time. Anthony's got his hands full with with moving, with a kid, um, new job, new city. I get it. Um, but you know, we can't we can't forget the important things in life, like fake football. We can't just you know, put that in a box in storage. It's how how what are we gonna do? So I mean, we already know I'm I'm leading. Um, eh, yeah. We we have we have like four events, three events where we have no idea where the scoring went. So I'm saying I'm leading, and it's just it's just the way it's gonna be. Um, probably got Jeff somewhere at the top, Anthony somewhere up at the top. Uh, Matt and Jess, uh, coincidentally, very close together wherever they're at in the standings. And, uh, you know, we got Mason, uh, Zach, Sean, who, and Jake, who, who don't fill out their sheets ever languishing at the bottom. So, um, so you know, Sean did win, did win last year anyway, so he gets to pick his spot. So, I feel like I feel like Sean is a top of the top of the snake type of guy, so he's gonna go one, and then he probably got me or Jeff with the next selection. Um, I like going at the top. Um, I think there is an advantage to going at the end of this year's draft, though. So I don't know. I don't know where Jeff usually goes at the top as well. So um, so we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But uh, but yeah, I would like to get that get that straightened out soon um so hopefully hopefully we get some we get some action in the chat from anthony uh, addressing it addressing snake gate uh so we can so we can get get things planned accordingly and uh strategies implemented and such um it's time to start mocking um but yeah uh, elsewhere in the sports world we got we got you know, Kristen Press, she scored a filthy goal. Zalatin went crazy. Got a hat trick in the, the Trafico. Some uh, some nasty goals, too. He got, he got one with his left, one with his right, one with his head. Just uh, just nuts. Um, I really hope, you know, everybody call it, well, not everybody, but some people call the MLS a retirement league. I hope, I hope European players seeing you know how much fun Zlatan's having playing in the MLS um, I hope that encourages more players to to come over and uh, you know grow the league and we'll get US players playing against these European stars get more exposure and uh, yeah just uh, just grow the product here and uh, it's good for good for all parties involved um, Arsenal won their first preseason game. I think they had a second one this weekend. Uh, Matt was there, so you know, shouts to shouts to the Gooner, the, the true Gooners being there. Uh, I definitely would have went if money weren't an issue right now. Um, but uh, but <clears throat> for the foreseeable future, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Uh, really looking forward to it. If you can't tell, um, but uh, but yeah. Uh, two one against Bayern. I don't know. I don't know who Bayern started. If they played like, I think Vidal's still with them. Um, yeah, and a whole bunch of German guys. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, good for good for the Gunners to to get that win, to get that preseason win against a quality opponent in a quality stadium. And happy, happy for Matt. Happy for Matt and Jess being there. Uh, wish I could have been there too. But, uh, but yeah, I ho hope you guys, hope you guys had a beer. Uh, in the name of all us, all us Gooners in the in the mixer chat. Looking forward to this season. Um, I know Europa League starts like stupid early. I don't know if 
Arsenal wants to play games in the initial rounds of the Europa League. My guess is not. I think we have a few playing games, but um, but yeah, I know uh, I know we do got regular season Premier League kicking off soon, and uh, and same with uh, you know European competition for the Gunners who are sadly in another year of Europa League hell. Um, honestly, I hope they get bounced kind of early from the Europa League this year. And, um, you know, just so they can focus on the Premier League because that travel is just ridiculous. And uh, it hasn't played out well for them <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the knockout. Well, I mean, well enough. They made the final and a semi-final. But, um, but, yeah, they haven't been able to lock down that one automatic bid. By winning the Euro the League. Hopefully this year can be different. Um, racing news, which I know you guys are excited for. Um, Formula One had a very entertaining race. Uh, Lewis Hamilton still won, running away with the championship yet again. But as long as the races are entertaining, I'm for it. Um, the car has been good, but uh, but yeah, hoping hoping Formula One can uh, can can pick it up. But uh, I think that, I think that's all I got for now. We got we got NFL news heating back up. Um, hopefully hopefully all the studs make it through make it through training camp without without any major injuries, and hopefully these guys stay off the police blotter. Because um, yeah, now's the now's not a good time for their name to show up in the news. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. That's all I got for now. For the last time from Mexico, I'll say adios, adios to the country where I've lived for the last three and a half years. It's uh, surprising that it's been so long I feel like I'm already getting soft uh, I'm gonna miss the grit of, uh, of Mexico you know um, definitely a different person from when I from when I first moved down here learned a lot um, living here on a daily basis and I could already feel the feel the difference just like going out to the store and stuff um, you know um, I feel like it's something everybody should do is live abroad for at least a year of their life um, just learning how you know how the rest of the world works how I mean even simple things like traffic can be the, the shit you take for granted um you know, I think the thing that that I noticed more than, or that had the had the most impact on me, was uh, pretty early on. I went to a grocery store, and it was like I don't know, it was like a Sunday night or something. And uh, I lived right behind a grocery store, and it was like you know, nine, 10 o'clock at night, I was running out, probably getting beer, or freaking limes or something. And um, go in there and there's like five or six, uh, maybe I've brought this up before, but there's like five or six elderly uh, people, like people that could be my grandma, <laughs> my grandparents, and they're, you know, working there at night on a Sunday um, for tips. They're, they're bagging groceries for tips. They don't even get an hourly wage. They just work for tips. And, uh, you know, they're doing it so that the family can have a little extra money. And, um, and yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. It just, uh, it just makes you look at things a little differently. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people down here who just who just want to work hard and uh, and do better for their family, and uh, you know they'll go they'll go to they'll go to extreme lakes to to do so. 
and um, yeah, it's, it's uh, just makes you makes make, made me see things a little differently. Um, so, but yeah, I am I am gonna miss it. You know, there's a lot of a lot of fun times, <sighs> a lot of uh, a lot of good times down here. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. You know, baby's gonna be gonna be a nicer place so so yeah that's what's that's what's important now. Uh, that's gonna be it for this week more football talk coming less baseball as the Padres become more and more irrelevant as the season goes on and you know football comes to the fore so that's it guys let's get it see you next week later